Hey guys, I'm on the mall just hours before the Apollo 50 projection show when they're going to put a Saturn V on the Washington Monument. It's going to be amazing. And I was on my run this morning and I thought it might be interesting to show you guys how exactly they're going to pull this off. It's a really unique situation. It's a 10 by one aspect ratio image, which is something nobody films for at all. I did some research into Five Nine Productions, which is the production company who's putting on this big show for the Smithsonian. And I'm gonna give you a little bit, little tour around here just to uh, show you how exactly they're gonna pull this off. Super quick, there's a couple different experiences here. Um, the main one primarily being, you know, of course, the projection on the Washington Monument. But there's also these displays on the periphery here. The projection you're gonna see on the monument is completely CG, it's completely computer animated. That's likely due to the fact that it's just really hard to take pre-shot footage and put it onto a very bizarre aspect ratio that nobody is producing for. In the middle here, it's gonna be all CG animations. On the sides here is all gonna be archival footage and still photography taken from the missions. In the middle here, we have the countdown clock, uh, recreating the countdown clock on Cape Canaveral, which you all, if you're watching this channel, you're probably very aware of. And then we got projectors, so many projectors. I'm gonna run down here and show you guys the projectors. Okay, so I'm at the projectors now. We have, they're what they're projecting on, these walls here. And then on the mall itself here, there's two different bays of these Barco projectors each one of them is 30,000 lumens, insanely bright. If you stared into them, you'd go blind. These projectors here are pointing to the opposite side of the mall. And then on this end here, we have another tent filled with projectors pointing at this wall. It's a really slick setup. Also something to note here, <laughs> speakers. They got the guy from House of Cards to make the soundtrack for this experience. Okay, well, while I'm at it, I'm gonna do my Casey Neistat run vlog because I never run and make videos, so might as well take advantage of it, I guess, right? Okay, it's a little ridiculous to run by your camera then run back and pick it up, but I don't know, I guess people like this thing, so. so I'm gonna run down to the Washington Monument to see if I can show you all of the other projectors that are being used to display this massive image using projector mapping. Oh my God, this is shaky. I'm gonna stop, sorry. Okay, so I'm at the Washington Monument, which is, wow, completely bleached out. In these tents over here is a bay of what I think is 28 of those same Barco projectors that are going to be projecting onto the Washington Monument. Some people may be curious, why are the projectors so far away from the crowd and so close to the monument? Well, it's because as you project over a long distance, the air molecules diffuse the light and soften it. Where I was standing way down the mall here, it's all 400 yards away. That's a really long way to throw light. And also they need to throw this light accurately using projector mapping or projection mapping. It's kind of a simple in concept, hard to execute. They take a lot of projectors to display a big image and they slightly, if possible, don't overlay on each other. The margins are so tight that it looks like one big image even though you're using 20 or 30 projectors to throw the image up on a surface. It's something we've seen at the Olympics. It's something we've seen at a lot of large events. They have to project an 8,000 pixel high image onto the monument and I believe 800 pixels wide, maybe 900 pixels wide, just about a, a, one by, a 10 by one aspect ratio. Still don't understand, I still don't understand. What do people like about this? Okay, oh my God, I'm sweaty. Last but not least is like the VIP viewing stand and also the control room area where the director will be sitting directly in front of the presentation. So it's people that put it on. Hope you enjoyed this. Maybe you learned something. It's a hell of a spectacle. If you're out here, give me a holler. I'd love to meet you. All right, hope you enjoy the show. Uh, I'm gonna try to live stream it. All right, I'm gonna go run and take a shower. Bye.